So very important. Thank you. On Long Island, officials have announced plans to combat the vaping crisis one day after New York reported its first death linked to the devices. The officials today also spoke about new technology that helps schools detect vaping. CBS and New York's Jennifer McLogan reports. A Long Island school district is one of three nationwide suing the electronic cigarette maker Juul, claiming it is forcing the school district to pour time and money into fighting the addiction epidemic. The three village school district is among those paying $1,000 a piece for these newly invented vaping detectors manufactured on Long Island by IP Video Corporation. A beeping or silent alarm sounds alerting school officials to vaping in bathrooms, hallways, gymnasiums, auditoriums. A single detector covers 1,000 square feet. They gave us a demonstration. So as the vape goes up and, and goes near the device, it's going to start to register on here. They want to be more reactive in a school district to be able to um, tie this in to a camera that's outside of the area of privacy to be able to determine who vaped and they get an alert right to their iPhone or Android device and then they also have video very often of that uh, individual as they exit that area of privacy. An urgent response is needed, says a group of Long Island lawmakers, elected officials and parents. Yesterday's sudden death of a Bronx teen brought the total number of vaping related deaths in the U.S. to 23 and 1,100 cases of severe vaping illnesses have been reported nationwide. The reason I think we have to federal legislation is that states can have tough legislation, good legislation, but then we can run to the issue of smuggling if it's not at a national level. We can have national standards, national prohibition even on it. That will make it much harder for these to be uh, circulated among young people. Congressman Peter King co-sponsoring legislation calling for a ban on the sales of flavored e-cigarettes, a national campaign to alert children to the dangers of vaping. He wants to more than double annual funding for the Centers of Disease Control from $210 million to $500 million and to create a tax on e-cigarette products equivalent to $3 a pack. Nearly 40% of high school seniors and 27% of students overall vape, according to the state health department. Reporting from Ronkonkoma, Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBSN, New York. Today on